Welcome to the Italian Riviera, and more specifically, welcome aboard the all-new Azimut S7, the cutting-edge, carbon tech-generation, triple-pod-propelled sport yacht, defining a new direction for her series. From the green technology installed on board to the yacht's harmonious design, the S7 goes above and beyond to prove that care for the environment and excitement out on the water are not only compatible, but can even synergize. As the volumes have been expanded, exterior designer Alberto Mancini has worked to maintain the yacht's dynamic and sporty profile by elongating the lines and cleaning up the surfaces. But the real surprise is inside. The interiors of the S7 have been developed by Yatik, bringing a fresh approach for the studio's design debut with Azimut. Yatik drew on years of experience working on custom super yacht interiors in order to propose a radical continuity between indoors and outside. Let's begin our walkthrough tour so that I can show you all the most interesting aspects of the Azimut S7. On a beautiful day like today, we must start our tour up here on the flybridge. Well, it's technically a sport fly, and from the view of a passerby, it certainly seems like the sleek dynamic of a sport yacht. But when you're actually standing up here, you have the sense of a fully fledged flybridge, complete with a dining area for all eight guests, if you fold out this extremely light carbon fiber table. It's also served by a wet bar cabinet, which contains an ice maker, fridge, and barbecue. The forepart of the Sportfly is ideal for guests to keep the pilot company with a co-pilot's chair and the sunbathing, which can be expanded by transforming the backrest of the sofas into a headrest for sunbathers. And it's all possible to be shaded at any speed by the electronic awning, which can be raised by the push of a button. And since we're seeing so many cushions here, it's a perfect time to mention that aboard the Azimut S7, just about any cushion you lift up, you'll find a storage area beneath. That's a theme that I'll continue to point out as we move downstairs to the cockpit. The cockpit is where the main deck of the S7 blends into the sea. And you see it's the most protected area where we're standing right now, closer to the salon, thanks to the extended glazing of the deck house, which covers us from wind and glare from the sides, as well as the cover of our flybridge above from rain. Together, it creates an ideal space to enjoy a panoramic view and dine outside, with this table made of carbon fiber extended for all eight guests to stay here. And it's served by a bar cabinet on the starboard side, which includes a grill, sink, ice maker, and fridge. The exterior portion of the cockpit features some of the largest cushions found anywhere on board for a wide sunbathing array, and each of the three sections has its own independently adjustable backrest. If you need, the whole area can be shaded by an electronic awning. All in all, you have a perfect spot to keep in touch with those guests who are enjoying swimming or using the water toys. Speaking of which, let me show you the bathing platform. Getting into the water, is one of the key moments of the yachting experience. So the bathing platform of the S7 is optimized as well for the swimming experience as for those who love water toys. This garage can store both a tender and a jet ski, giving the owner two great options. First, to leave it like this and enjoy a beautiful profile perfectly clean. The other option is to have an unprecedented third water toy right here on the platform. But regardless, and in any case, you always have a section of the platform which remains at this level, creating a permanently safe place for swimmers to get in and out of the yacht. Now, unfortunately for this tour, it's as close as we'll get to the water, but there are still the interiors to see. So let's make our way back to the salon. There are three elements in particular of Yatik's design project that create the incredible continuity between indoors and out. As we approach, the first thing you notice is the similarity between the furnishings. Then the threshold you have this fully opening sliding glass door and entering the salon finally. It's the windows that we notice with the support from the cutouts in the bulwarks and the low profile furniture, which creates an unparalleled sense of communication. The first focal point that we come to is this multi-purpose area. And you can see that there are two buttons on the side of the wall 
which configure each of the tables independently, so you can raise one and keep the other one low. Raising it, thanks to the angled stem, means bringing it closer to the sofa, therefore easier for dining, while lowering it creates more legroom. And no matter how you're using this space, you have a hidden TV on the opposite side to take advantage of. When the weather doesn't permit outdoor dining, it's possible to move both tables up together and unfold them to create one unique table that can support all eight guests for an indoor dinner. I already mentioned the hidden TV stored here, but the cabinetry lining the starboard side of the yacht also contains dedicated storage for all of your custom azimuth dishware. And on top, you have a thoughtful tray, which Yatik once again uses to prove their knowledge because you always need places where things can't slide off. It's also a fine place to begin talking about the light design because these LED strips are something really unique. They reach the entire length of the main deck there are separate lighting zones that can be configured into presets to spotlight whatever guests are doing. For example, TV, dining, cooking, or even piloting. Now, all of the parts of the main deck we've seen so far are dedicated to the guests and it's great to have them in continuity. The forward portion of the main deck, however, is dedicated to service. First, the galley for food prep, and second, the helm station. But beginning here, the interesting thing about this design is having everything half height is fantastic for communication, but where's the storage? It's built in everywhere. In fact, we have two very large refrigerated drawers beneath me, one for refrigerator, one for freezer, and an extension to the refrigeration space underneath the helm seat. And all of the appliances, of course, are of the highest quality, Miele, for durability and efficiency. And if there's need for additional dry storage, once you go halfway down the stair, you actually have a full height pantry. Stepping up to the helm of the Azimuth S7 is a fantastic feeling, in part because of the incredible visibility, which is really 360 degrees. The other half is in the display. You have flush glass screens and everything integrated thanks to the relationship between Garmin and Volvo IPS. It allows us to have our engine readings built in and no extra screens around breaking our aesthetic. The IPS system from Volvo is a main point of this yacht's performance. She has a top speed of 35 knots, turning absolutely responsive, maneuvers easy with the joystick package, and she's actually quite efficient, able to cruise almost 300 nautical miles at her cruising speed. IPS is already a much more efficient engine technology because it allows you to get the same propulsion with less horsepower. In the case of using three, you can use even more compact motors, saving you even more consumption and space on the lower deck, which I'll show you soon. But it's combined by the shipyard with a custom hull design that takes the best advantage of the IPS propulsion, plus the extensive use of carbon fiber in the upper parts, which brings down the center of gravity and results in actual weight savings. So for efficiency and stability, two great things to have in a performant yacht. The master suite is where Yatik's interior design really comes into its own. The first eye-catching element is of course this glass display case style storage, which can be used for clothing or any manner of object. You see it plays with the light design in a certain way. When you turn off the internal lighting, you can't see inside, and so it affords the owner a certain kind of privacy. At the same time, it's balanced with storages all around, so you have hidden drawers, a vanity desk area with a seat that can be pulled out from underneath, and beside the bed, you have these beautiful trays, which can be a place to empty your pockets after a long day. The opposite side of the bed is the reason why we call this room a suite. That is, in fact, because in addition to the ensuite bathroom behind me, you have a walk-in closet. And a detail that's really appreciated here is that both sides of the door are mirrored so you can always check out your outfit. Plus, there's plenty of room to change. At the foot of the bed, you look directly out of a large wide window, but there's even a hidden TV that can raise up 
and you see there's plenty of comfortable seating with storages on either side so that every free inch is given back to you in the form of storage. The VIP suite of the S7 is a really special place to stay because you feel the embrace of the angle of the bow. And here, like no other room, you can feel how the space has been maximized. Even this small area above the window has been turned into a storage, on both sides that is. And you have symmetrical closets in addition to your ensuite bathroom. But this isn't the only other guest cabin with an ensuite. In fact, one of the double cabins has a nighttime private access to the day head. The final guest cabin uses a creative orientation of the beds in order to maximize the sense of space and the quality of life for the guests staying there. It's getting late. Why don't we head back up to the bow to close the video? The bow lounge of the S7 is a perfect panorama. I think that's why guests love to spend time here. With a multi-purpose area like this, you can find yourself sitting here at any time of day. You can fold down the counter-facing seating to have an extension of the sunbeds. But when the sun becomes too much, you can also erect some carbon fiber poles and support a bimini shading the whole area. So you see how it works. It's somewhere that just never goes out of fashion, much like the S7. Now, as we've seen today, Azimut's new S7 packages the most sensible and sophisticated solutions on the market into an eco-sporty model that's easy to love.